Hey guys, welcome to Lighthouse Tarot, where we embrace the light within ourselves and within others. As always, I am your host, Rachel Riley. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Stay a bit if you like. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for all your support. You guys are the real MVP and I appreciate every single one of you. But without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this is a social experiment that I did. This is what happened when I wanted to listen to as many motivational speeches within one day, as many as I could, and here are the results. Now, before I go into this, I do wanna say I did this and you can do this. Oh, look at that black hawk, look at that black hawk, one of my spirit guides. So you can do this when you are feeling in a negative set of mindset. Whenever you're feeling really negative, when you're feeling down on your luck, when a lot of no's are happening, you can use this to build momentum to get to a higher vibration because I do not recommend, if you're feeling negative, if you're feeling depressed, if you really hit a wall, do not try to fake positivity. Don't say like, oh, I'm feeling okay. Like I just be positive. That doesn't work. It also doesn't work to be grateful. When you literally can't think of one thing to be grateful, don't do that. Do this instead. So here's what I did. I was feeling down on my luck. I was feeling depressed. I was feeling like the world was against me. So instead of being fake positive, I decided, you know what? I can't control what I listen to. I can't control what I do in my body. So I'm gonna listen to as many motivational speeches I can in this one Sunday, and I'm gonna see what happens. So here's what I did, guys. I listened to two motivational speeches in the morning, two motivational speeches in the afternoon, and two in the evening, as well as three more finally in the late evening. And here's what started to happen. Here's what started to happen when I listened to these motivational speeches. I got up, I had put off going to the grocery store all week. I decided, hey, let's just go ahead and go to the grocery store, dude. Let's go to the grocery store. I got some healthy food, started eating that healthy food, started to bring my mood up. Then I started to clean my room, started to clean and organize my room. I went on my computer. I said, you know what? I'm feeling motivated. Let me just go ahead and apply to every roommate position I have on Craigslist. So that will make me feel better. After I did that, I was like, let me go ahead and reply to every Jeep thing I want on Facebook Marketplace because I'm looking for a dream car. I did that. I started to notice that I was spending less time on social media because I was so busy listening to these motivational speeches and like, yeah, I can control my life. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be like this. Yeah, this is my come up story. I noticed that I became more neutral around toxic people, around toxic situations. I wasn't reacting emotionally after listening to these speeches. I also noticed that I, I set time aside to organize my whole week, to write down, okay, I wanna record on Monday. I wanna record on Tuesday. I wanna edit on Tuesday. I wanna go to the park then. I organized my week and I started to feel better. I started to gain some momentum. Because I listened to so many speeches, guys, because I listened to nine motivational speeches, I started to get better. I started to believe it after the fourth one. And I was more positive. Like, what if something good happened? And I don't have a car right now, so I have to book Lyft every Monday to get to my daughter's daycare. Usually, I'm negative. I'm like, oh my God, it doesn't come out to this side of the town. It's gonna be a miracle if I can get one. No, not after all those motivational speeches. I was like, what if I just got lucky? Hey, they have this option where I can book this Lyft overnight and schedule it. Let me do that. Guys, that next morning, I had that lift there right at 735. Got to my daughter's daycare on time. Here's what happened. I scheduled that lift to go to from her daycare to my hairstylist. Got a sick haircut. On the way there, I was in a positive mood. I was motivated. I talked to my lift driver. She put me on her, her son's YouTube channel. He has a million subscribers. He's a rapper in Memphis. I believe is, his name is Young Money with a M-U-N-E-Y instead of money, like money <laughs> spelled that way. Anyway, and she, what she did, she went ahead and gave me her card, her personal number and said, hey, if you ever need a ride, call me 30 minutes before you do and I'll come out to Arlington. I live right around, right around where your parents live. I was like, bless, I got lucky. Went to the hairstylist, in a great mood for my Uber. Start talking it up with her, start telling her about my day. She gives me an amazing haircut and she's like, oh, you wanna get into acting? That's crazy, I went to the Orpheum and I met the head chairman of film for the entire state of Tennessee. I know her contact information. I can help you out with that. Bam, another opportunity. That was amazing, guys. So I, I went out and I started walking to the library, right? I got hungry, stopped at a French restaurant, manifested that, always wanted to go to a French restaurant, get cute little pastries, was in a great mood, vlogged it, got another lift in a Jeep. And she was, I asked her, I was like, oh my God, this is my dream car. I always wanted a Jeep, where'd you get it? She's like, oh, I got it from a dealership. I was like, do you have good credit? She's like, no, no, you don't have to have good credit. Like, 
I got this, just put some money down. If you go in, ask for Kenny and tell him that Amber sent you. Bam, another opportunity of me trying to get a car, her telling me to ask somebody and having my dream car show up. I also lost my keys on the way to the library. I was so upset, I was like, oh no, my keys. But instead of focusing on it, I was like, I know, I'll find it. I know someone will help me. I got a different Lyft driver. I went a lot of places today, guys. And she, she, uh, she was helping me. She's like, I won't even charge you. Let's like drive past it since it's on the way. And I was like, yeah, you'll see the, you'll see the keys. They have a, a zebra pepper spray on it. She we were driving past the sidewalk. She's like, look, 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 ain't that it? That zebra? I looked down, I was like, oh, those are my keys, girl. And I got my keys, guys. I was so happy. So dude, this is how you can change your mindset. This is what will happen when you're so focused on positivity, on motivational speeches, even if you don't believe it, because I didn't believe it the first speech I listened to. I didn't believe it until the fourth one. I was really, really down, guys, but I listened to all of them, and that helped me take some action. That helped me flip my perspective. That helped me realize that positivity is true. And because of that, I was more optimistic. I was more positive. I was speaking positivity. I was speaking motivation to everyone around me. Therefore, people were giving me opportunities in return. The universe always doesn't give you a reflection of what you want, but it always give you, gives you a reflection of what you are. Therefore, if you are motivated, if you know I can find a way, if you know good things are coming to me, if you know I'm gonna stay motivated, I'm gonna change my life, I'm gonna take little steps every day, and I don't have to have it all together. I know this is part of my come up story. I know that I'm gonna make it. The universe will reward you. So that was my social experiment. That's what happened after listening to nine motivational speeches. So I highly recommend, dude, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling depressed, if you feel like nothing's working, manifesting, just listen to motivational speeches. Listen to it an entire day, as many as you can. Listen to it in the background. Listen to it as you make lunch. Listen to it as you're walking outside. And this will help build a momentum for you to take little actions and start organizing your day. Then you're gonna be so happy and motivated. You're gonna talk to everyone around you like, yeah, you can go for your dreams. Those people are gonna give you opportunities. I had one of the luckiest days today I've had in a long time other than my lucky Tuesday. So this is really what you wanna do. And the universe will reward you for it, guys. Like, you don't have to believe that it'll happen, that you'll get a yes immediately, but if you believe this is possible for me because it's possible for other people, I promise you, I guarantee this will come true to you. I hope this helped you out. I hope you get, this gave you some insight and I will link my motivational speeches. It's actually under my playlist. If you listen to motivational speeches to change your life, you can link it under there and this, I promise it. You're about to see some crazy stuff, guys. So I hope everybody has a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. Know that you can make your dreams come true. Know that you are the one and you're gonna have an amazing come up story. Comment below once you do. I love you guys so much. See you later, goodbye.